Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you so much for being here. So we're going to dive into the continuing conversation around the 28 Days Later franchise. So we know there's an upcoming new kind of series of movies 28 years later. There's going to be several movies that are being planned to be made. And we know that Killian Murphy is a producer on one of these movies or several of these movies. But it wasn't confirmed that he was going to be actually coming back to act within the 28 Years Later movies themselves. But now we have official confirmation from Sony themselves that Killian Murphy is in fact going to be back portraying his character in the franchise, which is great to hear. He's now an Oscar winner. Having an Oscar caliber actor like Killian Murphy is going to bring a lot of attention back to the 28 Days Later franchise. And I'm all the more for it. Love Killian Murphy, one of the best actors in the world. And having him in this franchise is going to do absolute wonders for it. But um, I mean, this franchise is great in and in it of itself, but Killian Murphy is just going to bolster this franchise into the atmosphere, especially coming off of Oppenheimer. And uh, yeah, this is great news. So this comes to us from Comic Flick News. Let's dive in and read about what's going on. So Killian Murphy to reprise his role in the horror sequel of 28 Years Later. So earlier this year, we learned that 28 Days Later, director Danny Boyle and writer Alex Garland are collaborating on a series of sequels for the 2002 horror hit. So yeah, there's not just going to be 28 Years Later. I believe there's going to be like a trilogy or a couple of movies that are planned. I'm not sure um, if it's going to be like 28 Years Later, part one, part two, part three or if it's going to be 28 years later and then the second movie is going to be called something else. Well, I'll have to wait and see. I'm not really sure how that works. So recently it was confirmed that Killian Murphy will return for 28 years later, joining the cast alongside Jodie Comer, Aaron Taylor Johnson and Ralph Fiennes in the lead roles. Having Aaron Taylor Johnson in here is so cool. Jodie Comer, that's kind of cool. Ralph Fiennes is great as well. But Aaron Taylor Johnson and Killian Murphy, man, two of my favorite actors in Hollywood at the moment, them playing against each other. I can't wait to see these guys on screen in this franchise. That's going to be bananas. So speculation has been mounting about Murphy's involvement, especially after he signed on as an executive producer. Like I said, initially he was just a producer on this new series of 28 Years Later movies, but now he's officially confirmed to be acting in it as well, which is great. So Murphy, who won the Best Actor Academy Award for his performance in Oppenheimer, one of the best films I've seen in the last 10 years, um, is now officially set to reprise his role as Jim from the original movie. Sony Motion Pictures Group chairman Tom Rothman confirmed Murphy's return, stating, Yes, but in a surprising way and in a way that grows. Let me put it in this way. This is Danny Boyle at his best, combined with a very commercial genre, like we had with Edgar Wright and Baby Driver. Baby Driver, incredible movie. Sometimes when you put a real signature director in a commercial arena, it elevates it. So yeah, there we have from Tom Rothman uh, confirming his return as Jim. I love, I love that. His name's just Jim. Like, not, like no second name. It's just Jim. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is where um, this is where Killian Murphy kind of, you know, started off his rise to fame in the 28 Days Later franchise. So to have him come full circle, win the Oscar, and then come back to one of his very first franchises, that's absolutely great to see. And uh, yeah, I'm just so excited for this, guys. I, I, I don't even know how to describe it. 28 Days Later, like, it absolutely elevated the zombie genre, what it did. It's not your typical Walking Dead zombies where they're slow and then kind of, like, the flesh is falling off of them and, you know, their skulls are exposed. It's not those type of zombies. It's like a rage virus. Humans that turn sort of, you know, they just get angry and they chase after you at full speed. They can leap over stuff. They can climb up stuff. And trying to get away from them is really difficult. But it's a different type of zombie. It's just like a human that's infected with a rage virus. And it's a different type of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A different type of atmosphere that, that, that this movie and this franchise gives. And uh, until you see it, it's hard to describe what the atmosphere is. So we have from here, Discussing Film, uh, the Twitter post, Cillian, uh, I always want to say Cillian, Killian Murphy to return in and start in 28 years later. And that comes to us from Deadline. So that's great here, having Discussing Film putting that out. Uh, details about Murphy's role remain unclear, but it appears he may have a smaller part in the first movie, but a more significant role in the sequels. So 28 Days Later was a massive success, leading into the 2007 follow-up of 28 Weeks Later, which had uh, Hawkeye, um, it will come to me in a minute, Jeremy Renner. Uh, yeah, so 28 Weeks Later had Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye himself was in it, which, while less regarded, uh, still has its fans. Boyle and Garland were executive producers on that project, so many fans will see this new film as the first true sequel. I think the 28 Weeks Later is really good. It's it's really worth watching, guys. You know, if you haven't seen either of these movies, watch both of them back to back. 
28 weeks later is just as good as the first one in my opinion but um i really love both of those movies and uh it gets me all the more excited to see where they go in the future with this franchise so we have a twitter post here Aaron Taylor Johnson on set for his new movie 28 years later. So a fan came across Aaron Taylor Johnson. I'm not sure exactly where this is. It says, um, can't believe I got to meet another Hollywood superstar and soon to be hopefully the new 007. Aaron Taylor Johnson on his new movie set up the Northumberland filming his new movie 28 years later. He took time out of filming to speak to me and ask how old I was and how I was doing. He was still in costume, so had to throw a jumper on before the picture, but couldn't have been a nicer to me and my dad. We told him we just met the previous James Bond actor and we told him we really hope he gets the role in the new 007. So yeah, I mean, that's really cool seeing him on set in Northumberland where they're filming. From what I can see here though, he had to throw a hoodie on. Underneath, it looks like he's got a blue, almost like one of those blue hospital gowns. You can see the kind of the blue here at the top of his, um, underneath his hoodie. Does that look like a hospital gown, that kind of blue color that they wear? That's just me speculating. That's probably not the case. But um, the fact that it says here, um, he was still in costume, so he had to throw on a jumper. That tells me that he was wearing something of significance that the studio don't want fans to see yet. And he had to put a hoodie on top. So a hospital gown could give away part of the narrative. So that may be why he had to cover up. I'm just speculating here and kind of spitballing. But um, that could be a possible thing. I'm not really sure. Let me know. Guys, let me know what you think about that. So Boyle will direct the first installment while Nia DaCosta, this is what has me worried guys, I've talked about this on the channel several times now, Nia DaCosta, for those of you who may not know, she was the director on the Marvels, the much acclaimed Marvels, which absolutely bombed and become obviously the MCU's lowest grossing film to date, and that worries me, the fact that the same director is going to be directing one of these 28 years later movies, that has me really, really worried. But um, still, I'm going to have to reserve judgment until we get a trailer and actually see the film. But um, I mean, <laughs> having the worst, uh, the worst, um, the worst box office MCU movie, having that director on this franchise. How could you not worry about that as a fan, you know? <laughs> so um, has been announced as a director for the second film. The plan is to shoot both. Uh, the plan is to shoot both movies back to back. That makes sense from a business perspective. If you shoot movies back to back. You're keeping all the sets in places. You're keeping the crew on sets. It's costing you less money. It's more financially viable. So that makes sense, you know, shooting movies back to back. With Garland writing all three, skip, uh, all three scripts, each film's budget is reported to be around 75 million. I would say uh, for this type of movie, like a almost kind of like a low budget kind of zombie horror movie, that's kind of the roots where this comes from. Having 75 million, I would have made the budget even less. I would have made it around 40 to 50 million if possible because they're not sure how much money that this franchise can generate. But 75 million, that's definitely better than spending, you know, 100, 150 million on this. And uh, to make back their profit, they would have to generate, what, 200 million, roughly? 210 million, something like that, to make a profit. So, I mean, 75 million budget is not that bad. They can definitely do something with that. So uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. The first film, 28 Days Later, starred uh, Killian Murphy as Jim, a man who wakes from a coma. After a bicycle accident to find that England has been overrun by the infected, the virus turns its victims into raging killers. But unlike typical zombies, these creatures move with terrifying speed. That's kind of what I was saying earlier in the video. So it's not your typical zombies that move really, really slow, where you can outpace them and stuff like that. These humans have the rage virus. So they still maintain their human physical capabilities, where they can run at full speed, they can jump over things, they can climb up stuff. And, um, yeah, you know, trying to escape them is all the more difficult because of that. And uh, that's what kind of sets this um, franchise apart from other zombie movies within the genre so um that's kind of what makes this a little bit more interesting jim sets out to discover what happened encountering fellow survivors played by naomi harris and brendan gleason as well as deranged army major portrayed by christopher eccleson so this comes to us from discussing film uh 28 years later will release on june 20th 2025 in theaters so for the first movie in the new kind of reboot of the franchise if you like we have to wait just over a year june 20th 2025 so it's about a year and one month from now and um i can't wait to see the marketing when they start putting out pictures and trailers i can't wait to see what they're going to do with this they have to keep that original score intact that gave such chilling vibes it kind of came it kind of became synonymous with the 28 days franchise that that uh musical score you guys who have heard it you'll, you'll know what i'm talking about 
So plot details for 28 years later are still under wraps, but the time frame suggests a near future setting, indicating the movie might blend sci-fi elements with its horror roots. So for those of you who may not know, this is the synopsis for the first 28 Days movie. A group of misguided animal rights activists free a caged chimp infected with a rage virus from a medical research lab. When London biker courier Jim, played by Killian Murphy, wakes up from a coma a month after, he finds his city all but deserted. On the run from the zombie-like victims of rage, Jim stumbles upon a group of survivors, including Selena, Naomi Harris, a cab driver, Frank uh, Brendan Gleeson, and joins them on a perilous journey to what he hopes will be safety. Yeah, I mean, one of the most iconic scenes in all of cinematic history, in my opinion, not just the horror, not just the horror genre, but kind of cinematic history. This scene here where Killian Murphy, he wakes up from a coma, he's in London, and he's walking through, you know, the actual real London, and there's not a person in sight. The entire of central London is just deserted. There's not one person that walks into frame apart from Killian Murphy. And how they managed to film that, one of the busiest cities in the world, and they made it look deserted. Absolutely incredible. It's not CGI, it's not special effects, it's not a set um, made to look like London. It actually is London, the, the physical town. And the fact that not one person manages to walk into the frame is just how, how they managed to film that, I have no idea. But um, it's one of the most incredible scenes I've ever seen. So, uh, yeah, so that's kind of where we are, guys. Um, so, Killian Murphy is absolutely 100% by Sony confirmed to be coming back to be acting within these films. Like I said, coming off of his Oscar win, it's going to bolster this franchise to no end. It's going to get so many eyes on this franchise um, coming off of his win of Oppenheimer. And um, I am so excited. One of my most anticipated movies of the next few years, for sure. So, uh, guys, let me know what you think about this. Are you excited for this franchise now that you know Killian Murphy, the Oscar winner from Oppenheimer, is going to be starring in this movie? He's not going to be the lead. Don't get me wrong. He's not going to be the lead. He's probably going to be in a supporting role. But like it says, as the movies continue on, he's going to have a bigger role later on. But um, let me know. Does it get you more excited? Are you still as excited as you was? Do you not really care? What do you think about the franchise in general? Are you excited for them to be bringing back this 28 Days franchise? Whatever your thoughts are, pop them in the comment section and let me know. Guys, as always, if you do enjoy my content, please hit that like and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in the next one.